Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Paola and today it is the fourth day of the 12 days of Christmas video series that I am doing and today is very special because I get to talk about my ranked list of the nonfiction books that I read in 2022. So in 2022 I read six nonfiction books. One of them was a picture book, two of them were graphic memoirs, one of them was in verse and the other two were uh, written in prose. At number six we have The Cayman. It was written by Maria Eugenia Manrique and illustrated by Ramon Paris and translated by Amy Brill. It was published by Amazon Crossing Kids and it is about Faoro, the town's uh, clockmaker who adopts a baby alligator and sort of draws the attention of all of the town, starts attracting the attention of kids and kids go to visit him and it is a delightful, delightful story. Um, this is the, the one that is uh, a picture book and it just sort of reminded me of what it was like to be a kid and having just pure, unadulterated love and joy and curiosity for life and the world that we live in and the things that surround us. It was amazing. I highly, highly recommend this one. At number five, we have Gender Queer by Maya Kobabe. This is a graphic memoir. And it says here that it started as a way to explain to Air Family what it means to be non binary and asexual. Gender Queer is more than a personal story, it is a useful and touching guide on gender identity, what it means, and how to think about it for advocates, friends, and humans everywhere. This was published by Oni Press and it was so good and personal and raw and I just could not be more grateful for a book like this. I, I need more people in my life to read it. At number four we have Redbone, the true story of a Native American rock band. It was published by IDW Publishing and it was written by Christian Stabler and Sonia Paulini and it was illustrated by Tibold Balehi. This one in the synopsis says, experience the riveting powerful story of the Native American civil rights movement and the resulting struggle for identity told through the high-flying career of West Coast rock and roll pioneers. Redbone. This was amazing. The coloring, the art, everything is there. Everything like superficial, not really superficial. The, the art in a graphic novel is integral to it, but just, you know, at a first glance, let's say. It was lovely to see and I love books that tell us very uh, specifically what the politics and what the struggle of the moment was at the time through art and by art I mean the musicians that were in Redbone. It was so eye-opening, so enlightening and I couldn't recommend it enough. At number three we have Sane, the autobiography and this was published by Delacorte Press which is an imprint of Penguin Random House and it is sort of Sane's journey from leaving One Direction to working on his first album and how that sort of came about. It is raw and personal and emotional. Like this is gonna sound super parasocial, so forgive me, I don't mean to sound creepy or weird. It's just what the book made me feel. But I felt so close to Sane as I read this, especially being a big, massive fan of One Direction. I really felt for his uh, life story and his journey. I highly, highly recommend reading this book at the same time as you are listening to Mind of Mine, his debut album. All of the songs, all of the journey of the writing, the producing, the recording of each and every single one of the songs that made it to Mind of Mine are in the book itself. So I highly recommend listening to the to the songs and reading about the process that the songs went through. At number two, we have Soaring Earth by Margarita Engel. This was published by Athenium Books for Young Readers, which is an imprint of Simon & Schuster. This is a verse memoir 
and it is so good. It tells the story of the author's uh, sort of tumultuous teenage years during the 1960s and it was so powerful. Like I said, I love the way politics present themselves in books and this one in particular was just so heartbreakingly beautiful. I highly recommend this one to anyone and everyone who enjoys poetry and who enjoys reading about remarkable people who lived through remarkable times. And finally, at the number one spot, I have I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. This was published by Simon & Schuster. This is a heartbreaking but surprisingly humorous memoir and it's about what it was like for Janet McCurdy to be a child actor, uh, her really complex relationship with her abusive mother. It's about how vulnerable kids are targeted by these just horrible rotten industry and I found so much in it that I was not expecting. First of all, the humor really surprised me and it was just so, so well written. I cannot say just how well written it was. It is just heartbreaking and raw and honest and it holds no punches. You will not be the same after reading I'm Glad My Mom Died. So I highly, highly highly recommended. Alrighty, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to check out the description below for links to my Patreon and my social media places. If you haven't already and you'd like to, go ahead and hit subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!